Having discussed calls in areas, what is calls in areas? When a call has been made, that is the company has asked the shareholders to pay a certain amount per share and somebody has not paid, the amount which remains unpaid after the call has been made is called calls in area. So if a call is made and money is not paid, the call money has not paid, then that is called calls in areas. It is shown as a deduction from capital so that share capital uh, Share capital is reflected at a lower figure in the balance sheet. Similarly, there is a concept of calls in advance. Now, when a company calls for the shares, makes calls or asks, demands money on the shares in installments, say of rupees 4 plus 4 plus 2, a shareholder, an owner, an investor may want to pay up the entire amount in one go. He says he is traveling. He does not want to wait for the installments. He is ready to pay the full 10 rupees per share on, on his investment. If that be the case, the company may receive this amount. But this amount is called calls in advance and it is not, not share capital. It becomes share capital only when the call is made and this money can be transferred from calls in advance to share capital. So this is called calls in advance, not a part of share capital and actually interest is paid at a rate of, as per the articles, a maximum rate of 6% per annum. <clears throat> So calls in advance is not a part of share capital. It is money which has been received, though call has not yet been made. Only when the call is made will this money be transferred from the calls in advance account to the share capital account.